I'm Joel Mendenhall with Homegrown Cattle Company. We are at one of our ranches on Palomar Mountain called Dyke Valley in San Diego County. I'm sixth generation ranching on Palomar. This ranch is 7,000 acres. We run 100 mother cows on this with their young and they have plenty of room to roam. My family came across into Oregon on the Oregon Trail and eventually they migrated south because they were into the beef business and San Diego was a really good climate, a Four Seasons cattle operation. San Diego was starting to boom, good market for beef. So I'm fifth generation, Joel's sixth, and the grandbabies are seventh. We don't use any antibiotics, no growth hormones, and we don't alter an animal to make them more productive in any way. It's kind of like going to a buffet. They're not stuck with one kind of grass that you're throwing them or one kind of grass in a feedlot. If they want a few oats, they eat a few oats. If they want a little something else, they want to eat a little fillery. So they really get a balanced nutritional aspect. And it and it's truly does lend itself to produce a product that it was raised in the way that Mother Nature intended. I mean, you're basically putting a animal that is intended to eat grass and it only eats grass, in a high quality grass. So it's that's the way Mother Nature intended for a beef animal to be raised. My boss is my animals, and their boss is the land. It's If you abuse it, any one of them, you have nothing. And what Whole Foods has done is taken us back to the 1880s. Instead of our cattle going to Texas, Idaho, Kansas, our cattle stand here. They're, they actually created a market and they're building a local economy starting at the grassroots level. So we're taking our cattle, they're staying in San Diego County, we're raising them up and selling them to Whole Foods. Well every customer that buys one of our steaks should realize that they're helping the grasslands in San Diego County, they're helping the economy of San Diego County. So for the local economy it does wonder. Going into ranching, it's in your blood. It's not something that, I don't think it's something that you choose to do. It's just something, either you're, you're gonna do it or you're not. It's, I guess it was bred into me, I don't know. <laughs> the corporate farms don't care for the land as a family farm will. Family farm, you've been in this business, Joel's granddaughter to be seven generations. They're gonna love the land and they don't wanna mess it up because it's, it's in their blood. So. It's a special thing to keep.